Hi, this is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. And here I start with my next zodiac sign that is Virgo. Virgo 2022 April. So let's see what we have. Confused, huh, Virgos? Because right now you are recovering from a lot of um, emotional baggage, I feel. Okay. Mm. First week, second week, third week and fourth week. Okay. So the first week is full of uh, abundance, good, uh, good energies, uh, family, money, investment, money coming in. I feel money could also come from inheritance. Uh, parents grandparents side it's a good good week second week a lot of conflicts maybe your inner conflict i see it's more of an inner conflict you'll get into ego fight with someone you might snap back at someone you might just say something really very rude the communication will be very rude and very um, you know or somebody might do that to you so there will be a lot of ego fight ego conflict you know some cheater kind of person must be around you that kind so please be careful in the second week okay somebody trying trying to sneak on you you'll find out there'll be an argument and you know something like that so be careful in your workspace all this is not good okay in the third week again somebody will try to um, have an ego war with you and you will also get into a lot of ego okay you both are going to fight 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 and eventually Virgos you are going to win but this win is not good why? Because this victory will be very empty and at the same time, uh, you will regret having this fight and argument. You will not like it. Okay, later on, after you win the fight. So I feel second, third week, please be careful getting into any such situations. And any such situations arises and you can't avoid it. So avoid the conversation, avoid, keep away from such people because this is only going to make you feel very guilty and very bad within yourself. It could be a person you already know extremely well or could be a, a family member, okay? And the fourth week, there is money coming, there is position coming, there is investment, there is some nice opening in work. But it's going to be a very slow start. But slowly, slowly this work will progress, but it will happen. So the fourth week is very good for money and work and first week is very good for money and work. Second and third week you need to really be careful, Virgos. Very, very careful, okay? Take care so that you don't get into ego and out of ego you don't hurt people, right? Ego always is very bad and the communication also could be very sharp, very argument, you know, saying bad things to each other. So please be careful in the second and third week. That's very, very important. We have a choice always, don't we? To get into it or not get into it. Okay. So, let's see what we have in your relationship area. Control. Toxicity. So Virgo, in the month of April, your throat chakra is blocked again. So like I said, there could be argument fight in your workspace also. So again, here also throat chakra is showing up. Lot of throat chakra energy. Here, some way there is going to be a lot of toxicity in your life, in your relationship area also. Your heart chakra is totally closed. You don't want to open because you're scared to open it. Because whenever you have opened, you've got hurt. You're going to manifest something that you always wanted, but there is some control coming from somewhere. Somebody's trying to control you. Somebody's trying to keep an eye on you. Okay. And that is why your relationship is not happening properly. See, your dreams can come true. But only thing is you need to take a lead. If you take a lead and you try to communicate properly to your partner, if you're single, if you're married, if you're in a committed relationship or just a boyfriend and girlfriend, in everything you need to learn how to communicate. If you're not communicating properly, it is not happening. Okay? Just take your time off, go within yourself, ask what you want, try to pamper yourself, love yourself, and then go and communicate your feelings to someone or somebody will communicate their feelings to you. And... Only then things are going to move or blossom in your life. If you're still in the negative mode, past mode, heart chakra block, nothing is going to happen. 
So it only depends how you are dealing with the situation. If you are working on yourself, definitely it will happen. If you are dealing with a situation, definitely it will happen. If you are taking a lead in healing yourself, then definitely it will happen. Then it's a good energy. Otherwise not. Okay. So let's see what fairies have to advise you. next video is Libra. This is Virgo. I was just thinking I have to make Libra so I said Libra. Okay. So now Virgos you have to protect your dreams. I also feel there is why I said Libra because intuitively I feel there is some Libran around you who um, who's not a very who's not into a very good space. I don't know why, intuitively I'm getting a lot of Libran energy around you, Virgos, right now. Intuitively, there's a lot of Libra, Libra, Libra energy. Anyway, so protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams. And they are safe in your care. Keep them close in your heart and you are ready to release them. So Virgos, this is the fairy message for you. I feel that... Uh, I feel that the message fairies are giving you is that you need to protect your thoughts, your ambitions, your dreams. Please do not share it with anyone. Because whenever you say something to someone like, oh, you know, I, I dream of doing this or that, or I'm going to do this, or this opportunity has come to me, Virgos, your work does not happen. Okay, you need to protect yourself, your aura and your... Uh, whatever you are doing in life suppose you are getting a new job or something really nice in your life and you share it with people and there is somebody who will try to uh, evil eye or whatever throw negativity and the work doesn't happen so please take care of your dreams by keeping it to yourself please keep to yourself whatever you are going to do in life because the minute you share the minute you share you are going to get into trouble Keep it to yourself. That's what fairies are saying. And that's all for today. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook because I put a lot of reels over there. And share this video with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Call me for paid appointments only. Even paid appointments only. That's all for today. Goodbye. God bless. Bye-bye.